Hi guys and welcome back to Rockingham where we're about to film the first in a new lap time video series. I'm very excited to say the first car we've got going up against a stopwatch is this Ford Fiesta ST modified by Mountune with 285 horsepower. Oh yes, this is a bit of me, a proper, really quite mental hot hatch. I love them, especially when they're made by Ford and in this case, and they've been modified by the team in Essex at Mountain. These guys know what they're doing when it comes to fast forwards. They've been working on them for years. You used to be able to get them through the Ford dealership network. Now Mountain are offering a bunch of upgrades for multiple Ford models and more actually. But let's talk about the Fiesta today. This, as you might have noticed, is a Mark 8 Fiesta, which means it's got that very characterful 1.5 litre three cylinder engine, which I must say in the standard car is bloody brilliant. But Mountune has seen fit to slap a hybrid turbocharger on this car. That means it's not just one single modification with a turbocharger. They've done the work and made a turbocharger specific for this car. New intercooler, <laughs> which gives you more power, more punch, 285 horsepower to be exact. That's a fair bit of punch for a little three door like this thing. And then of course, they've done the rounds on the rest of the car. They've given us lowered suspension, damping still the same. <laughs> you know, fluttering with the turbo there. The dump valve, that sounds brilliant. <laughs> and they've also, new brakes and pads are added to the car, lighter wheels, a few other trinkets, some I like, some I'm not so sure about, the mud flaps, but I do like the badges. I quite like the extra lip on the rear wing as well, the rear spoiler, I think it looks, well, it looks a bit naughty, doesn't it? And it is a bit naughty, look at it. <laughs> it's brilliant. Limited slip differential, I should add as well. This is the Quafe item that you get from Ford Performance. And obviously it's on this car here. So it means we've got good traction and that is doubly enabled by a set of super sport Michelins, which are, as we know from multiple other cars, including Fiestas, they are a brilliant tire. Now this I should add, if you can hear a few scrapes and wobbles around here, is a development car. So this is the full bells and whistles Mountune demonstrator, which they've done their testing on. So just that camera shot, there are a few exposed wires and yeah, it's a bit rough around the edges here and there because this is the demo that they use in Essex to test and develop the parts for these cars. Now you might know that there is a Mark 8.5 Fiesta out, a facelift of this car, and I imagine many of the mods <laughs> that go onto this car will probably just work straight onto that car. Don't take my word for it, go onto their website and check out the parts and I think in due time they'll be announcing more bits, but for now, we have a Mark 8 Fiesta ST, a car I adore in standard trim, a car I lived with as a long-termer for six months. Well, they've really turned it up, honestly. I can't wait to see how this thing goes against the stopwatch. And actually, this is gonna be the first time we give a Fiesta ST a proper fair shot at time on this track, because the last time I drove one, it was in the freezing cold. Click a link on the screen somewhere around now. You can see that video. I had a great time filming it, but well, it was very slippery as you'll see. Today, it's warm. What have we got? 18 degrees, almost perfect temperature for these tires on this track. Let's get the stopwatch out. I'm gonna go get my lid on, have a bit of a cool down. I'm gonna enjoy this last lap though, aren't I?
So, with a 123.6, our little Fiesta ST modified by Mountune slots quite comfortably into fourth place on our fairly short but growing leaderboard. It sits, well, very far ahead of the Kona end, not surprisingly, that's a crossover. But I think more interestingly, it's just 2.8 seconds behind the Civic Type R Limited Edition we drove earlier in the summer. That is an extreme, very focused take on the hot hatch formula, and it's more of a super hatch than anything. So for our little ST here, to get close to that time, very, very impressive indeed. If you saw on my lap, you probably noticed there were points when I was having to work with the car. It was still rotating and lifting a rear wheel like a proper Fiesta ST. All good things, I think we can agree. But it was just a little bit more stable at high speed. It didn't throw a wheel up into the air and then start to really rotate around. There was a lot more progression to it, which meant I could actually get the car turned in more aggressively on the brakes and then get on the power earlier too. So all round, it was just a quicker, more stable thing brakes were monstrous and that motor with that hybrid turbo 285 horsepower at the top end wow it is really very punchy i really really enjoy driving it and i hope you enjoyed watching this video as well if you did click the like button of course and subscribe because we've got so many more cars to add to that leaderboard i wonder where our fiesta is going to be in a few weeks from now see you soon